Hello world, I'm Jim, one of the engineers here at SparkFun, and today I'm going to talk to you about some of our ultrasonic sensors. So these are ultrasonic rangefinders. Um, they emit a 42 kilohertz sound wave, and then they can calculate the amount of time that that sound wave takes to be reflected back. Um, and using that and speed of sound properties, they can calculate the distance that an object is away from them. So what these uh, sensors consist of is an ultrasonic transducer, uh, which we sell separately if you want to try to make your own, and then they have a, a little pick on them and a, an amplifying circuit, and that's about it. So they got quite a few applications. Uh, the first, obviously, would be distance sensing. You can use them to make like a digital tape measure. Um, another would be uh, object detection. A lot of people use them on autonomous vehicles to sense curbs or other objects that they might hit. Or they could be used for motion sensing, like you could sense if someone's walking into a room. So each of these sensors has three different methods of output. Um, the easiest would probably be the analog output. It just puts out an, a voltage proportional to the distance that it senses. Uh, the second would be a uh, serial signal. It's an RS-232 signal, so it won't work so easy with an Arduino or some microcontroller, but it's great if you want to connect it to a computer. And then last, there's a pulse width modulated output. Um, it outputs a series of pulses with the time between the pulses varies depending on the distance that it's sensing. Uh, so that's great if you only have digital pins available. All right, so to demo, demo this sensor, uh, I rigged up a little Arduino project using an Arduino Pro. Um, a serial seven segment display to uh, show the, the actual reading of the sensor and then it's all going to go onto a proto shield and then for this demo I'm going to use the LV series which is the most basic really that we have. Um, we have a bunch of others, they all have different, different beam properties, different distances, different widths. Um, they're all pin for pin compatible so you can drop whichever one you want into your project depending on your application. So the setup is really simple. Um, I'm using the analog interface so I need two pins to power it and then one pin to read the output. So I'll just stick this on here. And then the serial seven segment display also just needs one pin for output and then two pins for power. And I'll slide that on there. And then just slide it onto the Arduino. All right, and to power it, I'm just gonna use a block of four AA batteries. Uh, and a barrel jack connector to connect it to the Arduino. This is displaying the distance in inches. Um, as I put my hand in front of it, you can see the distance go down and back up. All these sensors have a minimum sensing distance of about six or seven inches. And then uh, they max out um, at about 21 feet for the LV series and then about 25 feet for the XL series. So we've got two hooked up here, and as you see, things are getting a little weird. Um, they're really bound to interfere with each other as their timing will get off. Um, so you'll need to control them individually uh, using the RX pin. All right, uh, thanks for taking the time to watch this. I hope it was informative for you. Um, these are really great and easy to use sensors, um, and I really encourage you to use them if you have a project that needs distance sensing or motion or object detection. Um, all right, bye-bye.